Welcome. A lot of familiar faces. Welcome back. Good to see you guys Family. again. Hey, it's been a while. I just, first and foremost, I just want to thank Terry and Kim Pagula for supporting me, the organization. I want to thank my coaches, my teammates, um, my family, I mean, for the support. You know, the Hall of Famers of the organization, they really have my back. You know, they really supported me big time. And, I mean, I'm just happy to be back, happy to be playing football, happy to be a part of my guys, be a part of the team. I mean, to be honest, uh, we just took a positive course of action, and I wanted to see guys some professional um, that to help me with my, my everyday situation that I currently deal with. And from there, I'm just looking to move fast, and just kind of continue my ongoing help and, and help me with my decision making, to be honest. Mm. To be honest, I just want to move fast. Um, I saw the help that I needed. And to, with Dr. Hallowell, we were kind of working on some things and, and he's helped me a great deal. And now that I'm back, I just want to focus on football and be the person that I want to be and just continue to move forward and be the best teammate and person. I just really want to be proactive for this time. You know, um, I saw some issues with myself that I really never thought I'd have for. And I started reading those books and wanted to get in contact and the team really helped me put forth this, this action, I would say. So really seek out the help that I really needed. And from there, we just got to move forward. Have you ever tested for it at any point before this? Yeah. To be honest, I just really want to move past that. That's not, uh, that's not why I'm really here to kind of... Yes or no? I, mean, I don't want to move past it, but you, you try to move past five or six things with you now. Did you or didn't you ever suspect you might have ADHD before this? Well, I already said I did, so you know, obviously moved past that. When you were younger, you when question? you were an adolescent, did you ever suspect? Or well, you said that with that. So you can do this whole article. I'm okay. not here to talk about No, that. I mean, I just want to make sure that's what you said in the, in the USA Today. So as long as we get a story, mm -hmm. then we can, you know, forget about it. But that's what you said in the story, Alabama, yeah. when you yeah. Um, Bruce just really gave me a lot of positive reinforcement. Um, it's, 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 a, it's pretty big to be able to talk to a Hall of Famer, uh, with guy of his caliber. And I really sought out the help, and he told me he needed to talk with me and talk with other Hall of Famers, and they were really like, you need to go talk to Bruce. And we sat down, I went and see him, and we had a good time, and just kind of really put things in perspective for him. Just, I'm just happy with what I did over the four weeks. I really was proactive to better myself. To be honest, just did exactly what I wanted to do. And I'm happy with what I've done. I'm happy for what I'm, I'm happy for the future. I'm really optimistic of the future. I did exactly what I needed to do. And I stayed on track. And so now I'm here and I'm ready to go. What was it like watching the team play those four oh, weeks? It was a killer, man. I mean, it ate me up inside because I, I love being around my guys. We bleed, we sweat, we work hard together. And to know that. I killed four weeks of being with these guys. It ate me up. But they always, they constantly messaged me. They constantly kept, kept me in the loop. And, and really just, Marcel, we got your back. We can't wait for you to get back. Because, man, just be ready when you get here. It was just, it went a lot to me. Medical marijuana, particularly. I'm not really even here to talk about that. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm just happy to be back with my team. And it, this is my world. I love football. I'm just happy with that. Well, I don't know anything about that. You, uh, you just said part is cheap. I really feel like I didn't got exactly what I needed. I really sought out help when I never really asked for it. So I took the proper steps to really get help myself and be the person I want to be. Most of them, they don't want me to kill myself now. <laughs> but um, I'm pretty eager. They, they can tell about the way I practiced today, the way I was out there with the guys. I'm pretty eager to get out there. I have a lot of pent-up aggression. so. Um, <laughs> I'm just ready to go, I can say that much.